Hello you beautiful legends and welcome again to Blunt Force Healing Podcast episode 392. We are roughly a week away of a big milestone. 400 episodes, which from my perspective, uh, considering how it started, sounds surreal, to be honest. Because if you're like me and you struggle with keeping up with some habits or routines for a long, longer period of time, especially with the what they call good habits or something that benefits you or you benefit from rather than, you know, binging on Netflix or, you know, any other so-called bad routine. They are easy to maintain. So if you plan on exercising, I don't know, going to gym or hydrating yourself or things like that that require your effort to not only establish the habit, but then maintain it as a part of your life, then obviously you understand how hard it is to do it for longer than 30 or 60 days. And I always struggled with those things. Even if it was a challenge, like those 30 or 60 day challenges, they are fairly easy to do because you have usually a, some group of people that motivate each other and it goes for that amount of time, but then it fades away because you're left alone or you know the activity in those groups fades away and people kind of move away or move on with life outside of the challenge not understanding that those challenges were meant to help them establish certain routine but then it's their responsibility to maintain it and my idea behind this project and this podcast as well as the blog that is underpinning this particular podcast was to start writing every single day a journal so some random things preferably daily updates about what happens in life what my thoughts are about different topics etc and if I don't have any material obviously it will happen a lot of times because life is not super exciting every single day if it is for someone then I'm jealous and I am rooting for you if you're one of those people but for most of the people every day is a normal day there are things that happen that are bringing joy or sadness but in general the, the, the life everyday life is quite dull so it's very challenging to write something of essence or something that would be interesting to read hence this project probably doesn't have as much traction or it's not viral as many other projects on YouTube or in WordPress as blogs because you know it has not only a wide audience but very diluted audience as a target because in theory everyone is interested in reading about somebody else's life but also nobody is interested in other people's lives so it's a very wide audience but because of that, it's very hard to find like hardcore people that like journaling and my content will trigger their interest or my person will trigger their interest and they will start following more often. Of course, there are followers that I really appreciate and these are the most valuable uh, people I would say coming to this project because they are the ones that actually pay attention so 
even if it's just a, a small group and single people here and there in, on the blog and on the YouTube channel or on the podcast, I treat them as almost like a diamonds because, well, probably more than diamonds because diamonds are just precious stones, but these are people. People that care to spend their valuable or precious time on reading or watching, in general, in consuming my content, which very often is not that interesting and they could spend that time in a better way. Yet they choose consciously to read or watch or listen to my stuff. And for that, I'd like to thank you guys, those of you that are listening, those of you that are reading or watching, because while this project started as accountability place and means for myself, I wasn't thinking about the following. I wanted just to record my thoughts and to do that every single day on some platform that will make me accountable if I slip and, let's say, don't write on certain day, I will lose a streak, I can't fix it. There will be a gap that will be recorded in some, you know, software as a service, WordPress cloud service, and I can't manipulate it, even if I don't plan on doing it, but it might be tempting if you are under control of certain things, like your journaling and writing, you can, you can fake the date, or you can, you know, do things that will make you feel a little bit better that, you know, you maintain the streak or it looks good on paper, but then obviously you know deep inside that you cheated on it. I can't cheat online in this situation because if I pass the midnight time, my blog post will be recorded past the midnight time. So that specific day that I dropped will be dropped. And it's not the end of the world if I would do that, but this makes an independent resource for me to keep myself accountable. And the same for YouTube or other areas. So that was the means for me to keep myself accountable and keep going with that routine. But along the way, people started listening or drop, like popping in and kind of listening to one or two episodes, then reading. Some people are kind of reading and liking the post. I even had some comments, but on that, on that side, I still lack uh, feedback from the audience. And if you ever have any thoughts or something that you would like to comment on or send something to me. Do not hesitate. I have a lot of channels that you can reach me on. So if you don't have one platform, you can reach me on the other platform and I will be more than happy to to engage with you guys. All the social media platforms are always linked at the top of each post in the blog. And also each post in the blog has this video episode from YouTube embedded in it so it's the best place to consume my content because it's all in one central place if you're on Spotify or Apple or any audio podcast and listening to this then I'd say you still might want to go to the blog if you don't want to look at my bloody face <laughs> then you still it's still better to go and consume that from the blog perspective because the link to the podcast episodes are still there, while you also get benefit of anything outside of this recording that happened until I published it. Because I record the podcast episode and then later on I write the blog post. So there might something there might be something that comes to my mind or something that happened and I want to highlight it. So the blog post is a uh, comprehensive resource including this 
plus anything else. Today was quite straightforward Sunday, pretty lazy but nice weather and pretty cold but because the sun was shining the temperature was around 9 10 degrees Celsius so maybe not too warm but bearable and because the ocean was very calm we went on to Bundaran at a low tide and we used the tidal pool in the rocks to take a cold water deep one of the first ones in this season as the winter starts and last year we also were dipping in cold water so it it was the beginning we were a little bit afraid because the water is cold the air is cold and we didn't know how our bodies will react because you know cold showers we do uh, every time we take a shower but it's very different from cold immersion meaning the whole body and in the water like the ocean water it's salty water it's it's quite a different perception and experience so it was extremely nice and cool it was painful at first but then i got so excited that i stayed probably longer than i was ex wanting to to stay in cold water i was shaking a bit obviously because the 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 impact of it was immediate and it was nice to feel that shock to the body and later on my body started producing a lot of heat so it bounced back as it should and to be honest I was feeling really nice uh, we also took some tea and hot chocolate from one of those uh, nice hippie spots in Bundaran so it was overall a nice day with that cold immersion and now it's almost sunset in about 15 minutes so I'm going to calm down and relax at any water which is a river for those of you that are new to the channel those of you that are not you heard about any water a lot because I visit here to forage for mushrooms it's too dark probably to get any mushrooms I will be probably looking here and there because I can't just pass the you know beside the tree without looking around and searching for mushrooms anyway that's how my brain is set at the moment but I came here to calm down listen to that noise of the river that brown or white noise I don't know which one it is but they are calming and maybe just maybe I will encounter a red deer again I didn't post the red deer encounter that I found that I, that it happened one or two days ago yet, but I will trust me. So, if you want to see that and hear that red deer and see it crossing the river, stay tuned and make sure that you watch this space. For now, I still don't know what I will do for the 400th episode. Definitely the podcast season will end the second season will end and the third season will will start i'll probably start doing new episode episodes sorry new season every 100 episodes as opposed to 200 in the past two seasons but it doesn't matter it's just a technicality and more of a admin thing than anything big happening we are still on en route to restart our sauna project it was on hold for quite a while because of my wife's condition but fingers crossed she's on demand it's it's definitely better now i would say halfway but at least enough for her to re-engage in the personal training and other areas that she wants to take on and sauna project the mobile sauna trailer is coming soon we are hoping to get it done and delivered and start operating hopefully in january 2024 but there will be a lot of updates interim when it's being built what 
obstacles we, we have, etc. So if anyone is interested in that topic, you can learn probably something if you follow. Thank you very much for coming in. It's nice 15 minutes episode. Uh, I hope you have a great um, Sunday and the rest of the day or evening, wherever you are. Stay tuned and see you tomorrow.